this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center Off-Center team. Because of our recent heat wave, I've decided to do a couple experiments with heat. Have you ever gotten in your car during the hot summer and just couldn't stand all of the heat? Might have been hot enough to bake something. Well, we will certainly see if that happens. Right in front of me, I've got some delicious chocolate chip cookie dough that we will try to bake in my car. All I did was take a pan, cover it in tin foil to reduce cleaning and cut thinly sliced slices of cookie dough. We'll place it in my car. I'll also place a digital meat thermometer to measure the temperature that it gets in the car and we'll see in a couple hours how our chocolate chip cookies bake. Alright, so we're out in the balmy St. Louis weather. It's already in the high 90s, not the triple digits that we've had, but we can see the thermometer in the car is already reading 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We also can see that the cookies are starting to soften and melt slightly around the edges. We'll come back in an hour and check our progress. All right, so we're back outside in the sweltering St. Louis heat. We can see that the cookies have started to melt and around the edges are little pools of butter. Now, when I first came outside, we could see that the thermometer had completely shut off because of the excessive heat inside the car. After cooling down the thermometer and placing it back inside the car, the temperature rose very quickly to 165 degrees at present. Now let's talk, about, let's talk about what's going on inside the car. Outside we have the sun and the heat from the sun is entering the car but the infrared rays get trapped inside of the car. This is what they call the greenhouse effect. The, infrared, the rising infrared rays cause the temperature inside the car to rise very rapidly and thus our cookies are baked. Well, they're not quite baked yet, so we'll check back in another hour. So we're in the second hour of our baking cookies. There's not too much of a visible difference right now. You can still see the pools of butter or oil, but when I put my hand in to test the firmness of the cookies, I can tell that the edges are firm but not too crispy. I also had to put the thermometer back in and we are now up to 171 degrees inside of the car. Now opening and closing the door is not a good idea because it releases a good deal of that heat. So we'll see you in the third hour. We are in our third hour of baking. You can see that the cookies still look doughy, but they're not actually going to brown. When I touch them on the edges, they are firm and slightly crispy, but they're just going to stay a little doughy in the middle. I'm going to leave them in there just another hour to make sure that they're cooked. Our temperature has leveled out to about 170 so far. So in the fourth hour of baking, we'll wait to see the results. Our cookies have been cooking for four hours now and I can tell that they are firm but still a little doughy. I'm going to take them out now. The temperature inside the car has reached 133. It got a little overcast but I'm going to take them out, let them sit for about five minutes just to harden and then we're going to taste our delicious cookies. So after four hours of extreme heat, the greenhouse effect has given us freshly baked cookies. Try this experiment at home. Tell us what you think. They are quite delicious.